Hey guys, my name is Sophie the Shadow Hunter, and today I'm doing my book review on Beyond Band of Brothers by Major Dick Winters, the, the war members of Major Dick Winters. I love, love, love this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I've been wanting to read this book for probably about a year now, and I stayed up late. I was, I was trying to finish it Saturday night and Friday night, and I stayed up to 1.30 reading it. I read like 150 pages that day, and I loved this book. It was so interesting and educational and I love to see a different part of him because in the Band of Brothers TV series and in the book this is his personal war memoirs and the, and the men that he fought with and the men he commands out of Easy Company and there's so many insightful things about him how he was only planning to serve a year and he ended up serving three years. Um, his friendship with Nixon who was he was like his best friend. He was a commanding officer as well. But they were so different because he didn't drink. And um, it's so funny because in the Band of Brothers they call him a Quaker. And he says that he's not a Quaker. Everyone thinks he is because he's just like so laid back and quiet. <clears throat> and then when he was courted with a family during the war, he went to church every Sunday. And he, he grew up in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And so his parents were were in that kind of midnight area which it didn't say he was raised but he was around that growing up so obviously did contribute to the type of person he turned out to be this is a great book you guys should totally read it i'm going to show some pictures here's some pictures of his graduation pictures from lancaster high school in 1937 and then Here's some pictures of the concentration camp that they um, found. And then here's some pictures of him with, with the president. And then there's some pictures of Birch's garden and the eagle's nest. And they took it. So this book was, I was so, I couldn't be more happier about how I enjoyed this book. It was just so amazing. I did not want to put it down. It this is just like my type of book. I want to read more books like this. I love autobiograph autobiographies, um, especially about the war and soldiers. And it was just an amazing thing. So let me read what in the back what it says. It says right here. I wish to convey a final thought. And I hope that it doesn't sound out of place, but I'd like to share something as I look back on the war. War brings out the worst and the best in people. War does not make men great, but they do bring out the greatness in good men. War is romantic only to those who are far away from the sounds and turmoil of the battle for those who, are, who served in Easy Company and for those who served at their country in other theaters. We came back as better men and women as a result of being in combat, and most would do it again if called upon. But each of us hope that if we had learned anything from their experience, it is that the okay, war is unreal. Me. Yes. And we earnestly hope Something that it would never Something. happen again. Something you should. But wars do not make men great, but they do bring out the greatness in good men. War is romantic only to those who are far away from the sounds and turmoil of battle. For those of us who served in Easy and Company, and for those who served their country in other theaters, we come back as better men and women as a result of being in combat. And most would do it again if they, if they are called upon. But each of us hope that if we learn anything from the experience, it is that war is unreal. And we honestly hope that it would never happen again. That's just such an amazing line. I love this book. The story, everything about it. These men who risked their lives, who a lot of them weren't even um, legal adults when they served. They weren't even old enough to drink. And they, they lost their lives fighting for America, fighting against the German army and the Nazi, re, re, um, the Nazi party. And this book is just such an amazing story. And that's true. War brings out the good and the best of people. And for those, for some people, people sign like the people in Easy Company in the army and the Marines at Pearl Harbor. And sometimes they brought out the worst in people. But this is an amazing book. If you guys have read it, I'd love to see your comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Please be sure to like this video. And I'll see you guys next time with another one. Goodbye.